What role do habits and routines play into your pursuit of living a more fulfilled life? I, I have one of the most unstructured lives possibly around. People are like, what is your given day? I'm like, I don't know. Um, I think one of the habits that I've learned though is that you have to get eight hours of sleep. Um, there's a wonderful TED talk um, that's out, this British researcher that sort of synthesizes everything I learned. Uh, when I was in school, I wanted to get out of sleeping, right? I, I thought I'd be more effective if I could get two or three hours of sleep. And, and I read a book by a guy named Moore Ede who talked about the Exxon Valdez, Chernobyl. Major disasters were because of sleep disruptions, sleep cycles not working, um, not being aligned with people's sleep cycle. And the bottom line is we, we just need eight hours of sleep. Sleep is a very, very important, it's probably more important than, than food and exercise, which everybody focuses on exercise. Everybody focuses on food and they don't think about their sleep. But sleep is this incredible thing that the body is doing, regenerating. Um, the mind is making new connections, new patterns. Um, they're finding links to sleep and, 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 and disorder, mental disorders. Bipolar, um, you know, dementia, old age things are directly attributable to people not sleeping enough. Um, it's a myth that old people just need less sleep. It's, it's not true. Um, so that is one thing that, that was years ago that I kind of realized. And then the second thing I realized is I'm one of those late people. So I've always been, so people fall into three categories, it turns out. Um, what a surprise. Um, early people, late people, and kind of middle people in terms of when they get to bed and when they rise. I've always been a late person. Yeah. And so growing up, I was always having to deal with the school system making me into an early person. So I get to bed at 12 and I have to get up at 6 to get to school, right? Now I don't do that. I get to bed at 2. I get up at 10, right? You don't have morning meetings with me because I'm not around. I'm in a meeting with myself. <laughs> you know? Um, so that is one routine that I think is, that I've really incorporated. I mean, other things, um, you know, I think I do constantly dialogue with myself about, about a day, what's going on, and reflect, build in reflection time into my day. So I think that's another routine. It happens kind of in different parts, but I definitely have a lot of space for, for that too. Um, but those are, I would say, the only two things that are routines.